if he, that was an entertaining 0-0 draw and at the end of it nothing is really resolved as far as second, third and fourth place is concerned? Yeah, it, it, for us the doors are still open for second, third, so for us we still keep going. Well, we came here with the mindset, with a plan. The most important thing is we don't want to get beat because we know getting beat, getting beat by Aberdeen that means the automatic support for second or third place is gone. When we know six points and two games to go, the pressure is set on us. So we came here with the mindset of winning and, and not losing. So that's our game plan. And at the end, new new draw is not a bad, but still, we still look forward to the next game. I think looking at the way the game went, we'd probably be disappointed not to win the game. Well, we had opportunities, they have theirs, but the most important thing is staying in the game. That's, that's what really matters to us because we know Keeping a clean sheet really important here because the last time we came here we know how we felt in the dressing room and we know what happened. We didn't give 100% or 150% of all our abilities. We lost the game because of our poor performance. So when we came back here, the gaffer kept bringing it in our, in our heads and our performance and everything the last time we came here. So we owe them one. So the most important thing for us is to step up and show the consistency we've been doing since the second half of the season. And as you can see, the team is getting stronger and stronger. And I believe we're doing well, not doing bad, but the most important thing today is that unlucky we lost the penalty, which will have given us the edge and making us to get control of the game. But still, we never took our head off the game and off the ball. We always want to be concentrated in the game and fully aware of their tricks and everything they've got because we know they're dangerous side. They look like if they don't know what they're doing, but tactically they're sound. So we understand and we knew them, we played them third time, they did four times, so we've already knew their style of play, so we just stick by it and work with the game plan of the gaffer. We look very solid at the back. Yourself, Darren McGregor, Paul Hanlon, Ophir Marciano didn't have a lot of saves to make, so we did well at the back today. Yeah, we know, because we know. We just know the, their main threat is set pieces and long ball and second ball, so we work on that, and that's what really kept us in the game. Because when they don't have any chance in their set pieces or throwing everything they have because they are so dangerous in set pieces. So we're able to deal with that. That's why you see they don't really have anything other game plan to really hurt us apart from the set pieces. So we understood and we stick by our game plan and we, and we go for every ball. We try to win every ball in the air, try to get the second ball, which we really dealt with this time and really helped us in the game. It's a measure of how far this team, this Hibs team has grown to come up from the Championship and be competing for second place in the Premiership at this late stage of the season and with so many big games that, that we've had recently, the guys have handled the pressure superbly. Well, I believe the coaching crew, the gaffer, the, the management and everybody, the fans, I think it's a collective team because everybody has contributed one way or the other. So the team has been solid, not just the players, but the whole team from the development to the staff and everybody. I think we've grown from strength to strength, just as I've said, and the player that came in in the second half of the season really made us better and that has really helped us to settle down in the way the Gaffer wants us to play. So that has really kept our season going and since then we've never looked back. And from your point of view, you like to play football from the back and with players like John McGinn, Dylan McGee or Scott Allen in front of you, it allows you to do that? Yeah, of course. Sometimes, I, for me, the gaffer knows me. I don't like kicking. I always like to play. I always like to play in the midfield and get control of the game. Because sometimes, when you kick, you bring back the pressure. So for me, I don't like that. So I would always try to find a way for us to play. And because I know we have good players that can hold the ball, that can play. So why kick the ball when we have the player that can play football? So sometimes we just try to mix it. Because we know sometimes the pitch is not suitable for us. He will tell us to turn them. So we just try to mix the game. And since then, I think we've, we've really gone from knowing how to play and how to dominate the game, when to kick and when to hold the ball. We really help ourselves out and we've done so much to really improve ourselves. The big games keep coming. The small matter of an Edinburgh derby on Wednesday night, one to look forward to? Well, it's one of those games again. And it's from, because we know the splits, every game is very important and every game is like a cup final. So for us, we're not thinking about the derby, we're thinking about football match, football game, because the most important thing is winning the, the game, that's the most important thing for us. We don't want the three points is the most ultimate. The derby is the derby. The fans, that is for them, for them to come and enjoy. But the most important thing we know our our focus, our aim is to really fight for the second spot. So heart is on our way and we have to match them two to two. -two.